friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. What's up everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber ladies and gentlemen and here we are guys back with another action figure review back i should say back by popular demand it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber that's that's what i'm gonna do next time that's my next review i'm gonna use that back by popular i can't even speak back by back by popular demand it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber i'll use that next time okay so we have necro cop here one of my grail figures uh one of you guys requested that I do a review of this. I have a few requests that I'm going to answer. Uh, this is, of course, from my geek haul that I did the other day. Um, he looks amazing, dude. He looks really, really amazing, man. And he's pretty, pretty damn heavy, guys. Okay, so we're going to take him out of the package, of course. The package right here is cracked, as you can see at the top, right there. Actually, I don't... You know what? Instead of cutting this guy open, I can probably just pull him out from the top, which I'll probably do, being that that's already open. You can see the yellowing of uh, the package right there. Here is the back of Necro Cop, man. Man, he looks amazing, dude. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a little read-up um, on Necro Cop, because I'm not really familiar. I'm somewhat familiar, but not really familiar. Here are some of the other figs you can get from this wave, and we'll do a read-up in a minute. Um, but let's take this guy out the package because, like you guys, I'm pretty excited to get to the reviewing of this guy. And actually, I don't think I've ever seen a review of this Necro Cop. I don't think I've ever watched anybody's review. Alright, so here's a little pamphlet. Nothing in there. So here's a little story on Necro Cop before we... Get this review started if you guys don't care to hear me read or care about the story you can always fast forward okay gathered from far-flung realities and dimensions the newest collection of spawn action figures features various characters who have claimed the cursed mantle of spawn spawn series 31 offers fans a collect okay it's not saying anything the new legendary robotic and superhuman all that can be found within the wonder of spawn other worlds okay it doesn't really give me a story on necro cop okay guys if you guys have a story on necro cop leave it in, in the comment section um and uh yeah i'll pin it to my page it's, it is from 2007 so if you guys are familiar with spawn there's a there's so many different interpretations of spawn like mandarin spawn uh, uh samurai spawn so on and so forth and they're all they're all different characters it's not l simmons they're all different characters and i'm guessing this guy must be a cop from the future who uh bestowed the mantle of spawn so he's not L. Simmons. He's just a different character who, um, who wears the necroplasm, hence the name Necrocop. Okay, so let's get the uh, figure out of the package, guys. Cut some tape right here. Cut some tape right there. He comes with a base right here. Very, very nice. Very mechanical looking. And I'm, I'm wondering about the origins origins of Necro Cop 2, guys. If you guys know, pin, like I said, pin it to my page. And uh, so I'm familiar and my uh, viewers are familiar. I could have just Googled it. <laughs> right? I could have just Googled it. But I leave it up to you guys. So. All right. Let's untwist Necro Cop. He's more badass than RoboCop. He's NecroCop. All right, let's take him out of the package. And you have to remember that these figures that are from the 2000s, this is when McFarlane was dabbling in his statue phase, articulated statue phase. So don't expect a lot of articulation with this guy. Expect him to be more or less a statue. 
more of a statue. But there is his face. Man, he looks dope, dude. He looks really, really awesome, man. I hate the pre-post look. I'm not going to lie. I really do hate it, dude. It's a very, very awesome looking guy, man. The details done really, really nice. I like the lightning effect. Right here. Very, very dope. Know nothing about the character. <laughs> but... He looks awesome, dude. It looks like he has some toe articulation here. It looks like he can bend his toes because he does. It does look like he has a peg right here. Yeah, he does. <laughs> what is the point? What's the point of toe articulation? So the cape is done very, very nicely as always. Um, nobody does the cape better. Than McFarlane. Nobody wears a cape better than Spawn. Maybe other than Dracula, but that's the inspiration, right? Very, very dope. So the cape just kind of sits over his shoulders. It is glued to his shoulders, so you can't get it removed. It is like a hard plastic. Some parts are rubberized and softer in other areas, like like me. Ha <laughs> ha. Wink, wink, ladies. There's no ladies watching. So, let's check out the articulation, being that we're talking about the articulation. So, head movement. Head, swivel, that's all you get from these figs. Arm movement, up and down. He does have a break right there. Uh, his arm does go up and down, but it's hindered by his cape, which is a hard plastic right here, so you can't really get that arm to move that well. You guys saw with the arm right there, you can move up and down. Up and down, like he's doing something naughty. Um, waist swivel. He does have a waist swivel, a break right there at the abs. Um, breaks right here at the upper thighs. And then he does have toe and ankle articulation, but there's no freaking point. Just an overall great looking statue, man. Just a great, great looking statue. I've seen better from McFarlane, but it's a good looking statue statue piece that's what it is guys all right let's get him on onto uh his base right here let me bring my camera down just a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here let me just try to stand him i don't even know how the hell i st stand this guy because he stands like this how does wait a minute Does he stand this way, or does he stand this way? I don't think it really matters. I mean, he would be standing off the base, so I'm guessing he would stand this way. All right, let's get him into some poses here real quick. Okay, so let's get him to stand. Yeah, and it's, it's weird, too, to get him to stand as well, because when you have to get him to stand straight you it it messes up the joints right here where they're off so when you get them to stand on the base these break these joints right here they they break up the sculpture that's what i was trying to say you see what i'm talking about interesting nonetheless guys i don't really <laughs> you know it kind of like it kind of, it's like, and this is how he's posed too, so you can't really, let me see, I mean, you probably can get him, yeah, you probably can move him in other poses, move him forward, okay, I'm wrong about that. So yeah, you can get him to lean forward, I guess those, that's what the brakes are there for. So, and he's, he's standing at like a weird angle too, it's like, he's like, oh man, he's like throwing the basketball up for a hoop and he missed, he missed the uh, shot. And this was his expression. Oh, man, almost had it. Or he won the lottery. Man, almost won the freaking lottery. Let me bring my camera up just a little bit. And he stands at a weird angle, too, man. It's like his back is curved. He's like, 
He's like a, a chiropractor who's been working on a lot of patients, and he's got this curve in his back, and he can't stand up straight. Um, I mean, you can bring his arms down if you want to. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention he, had a, he does have wrist swivel. So, yeah, you can get his wrist to go at any angle you want to. Whatever it makes sense for you. But listen, overall, just a great, great looking sculpted piece. This is pretty much one of the only poses you can get them into. Let's do some measurement, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating. So, Necrocop stands about 7 inches. On his base, he's about 7 and 3 fourth tall. That's just a little under 8 inches. So, 7 and a half between 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 seven and seven and a half or between seven inches and eight inches around seven and a half seven and a half <laughs> okay guys let me give you my rating i think i've spent enough time talking about this guy listen um let me put my cape let me put that right there there he goes listen a great great sculpted statue piece that's what he is there's no eh, there's no and ifs about it, buts about it. I think that's how you say it. Um, listen, a good, good statue piece. So, this is not my first time reviewing a spawn figure that's a statue, uh, essentially a statue. So, I am taking a different rating approach, being that he's not really an action figure, he is a statue. So, for that alone, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give him, just based on the statue review... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. And that's just primarily based on a statue review. If you guys are looking to pick this guy up for an action figure, he's not an action figure. You cannot get him in dramatic poses. The Phantom right here, this is an action figure because you can get him in all different poses. That's how he looks with Necrocop Phantom right there. Starfire. Some of the few last few figures that I reviewed. And then we have Cyborg, simply because I have this guy out. <laughs> I haven't put him yet uh, back onto my DC shelf, but there's Necro Cop with Cyborg. Cyborg. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, it's definitely 8 out of 10. I'll give you guys a better close-up detail look at the rest of his body, because there's a lot of detail going on, guys. And he's done really, really nice. The face reminds me a lot of Terminator, dude. Right? You guys want to see him with a Terminator comparison? You know what? Let's break out a few more figs and do some more comparisons before we end this video. And then I'll put him with my spawn collection and I'll show you how he looks in my spawn collection. You wanted to see it? Here it is. Terminator and Robocop with Necrocop. And you can see, I'm pretty sure because uh, McFarlane did some Terminator figures. This is NECA, by the way. But I'm pretty sure he used the head sculpts <laughs> for the Terminator uh, for this Necro Cop. As you guys can see, there are some similarities going on here, guys. Definitely some similarities going on there. They are distant cousins, man. They are distant cousins. For sure. And McFarlane, I don't have any McFarlane Terminators, but I'm guessing the head sculpt looks a lot like that guy right there. Robocop. Robocop with Necrocop. There's Robocop. This is from the video game, based on the video game. Necrocop with Robocop. I would ask who wins, but like I said, I don't know much about Necrocop. Okay, guys. There was my little review. Tell me what you guys think of Necrocop. What do you make of them? Um... Should McFarlane redo this guy with more articulation? I say, yeah. Um, I already answered for you, yeah. Uh, but a great figure, great looking figure, interesting figure. Definitely want to want to know more about this guy. Definitely want to know a backstory about him. So leave it in the comment section. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.